Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. In this particular episode, I'd like to talk a little bit about U visas. Now, unfortunately, in the U.S., there's a lot of victims of crime, okay? Um, but under the Immigration and Nationality Act and various regulations and cases, uh, many times people who are uh, subject to certain crimes can apply for the U visa and can get waivers uh, of grounds of inadmissibility that they otherwise could not get. So I have lots of different videos uh, on various aspects of the U visa, but in this particular video, I want to concentrate on where you have to be a victim of a certain crime in order to qualify. You know, obviously, if you say you were a victim of check fraud or something like that, uh, that's not going to allow you to apply for the U visa. However, if you look on, you know, USCIS's uh, site on U visas, you'll see a list of 15 or 20 different crimes. Now, the reality is many of the crimes that you might be a victim of don't exactly fall under one of the enumerated list of crimes that they say you have to to be a victim of. However, if you can show that more or less the elements of what has happened to you uh, does fall under one of those crimes, then you would qualify. So a lot of times when I do the U visas, I have to get in detail exactly what happened, uh, you know, and then obviously what was charged to the perpetrator of the crime. But even if the crime that was charged to the perpetrator of the crime is not listed on one of the, uh, you know, particular enumerated crimes in the list under the law, it still could very well work. So like, for example, uh, I had one case where um, the victim uh, was in his car and then someone uh, came by and gave a threat and showed a knife, uh, essentially that he was going to kill him. Okay. So the uh, particular uh, person who committed this crime was charged with criminal threat. And if you look under the enumerated list, uh, the exact definition of that would not be listed. However, the victim was afraid for his life. The knife and so forth showed the ability of the perpetrator to actually uh, commit the crime. And clearly he intended on committing it if he didn't get the money or whatever he was asking for. So under the list... Uh, it shows aggravated assault. So we were able to successfully argue aggravated assault uh, in order to get the U visa, even though uh, that those two words were not even in the police report, were not listed as a crime that the perpetrator was charged with, and he the perpetrator was not convicted of it. Um, still yet, we were able to get the U visa. So you can see that it's not as clear cut as simply uh, looking at what was charged, uh, you know, to the perpetrator or reading everything that happened in the police report and then saying, oh, those words aren't there. Uh, I guess we can't do the U visa. So if you have such a case, if you've been a victim of uh, a particular crime, go ahead and give me a call. I'll be able to analyze it and let you know if we can work it into one of the uh, lists, one of the crimes that are on the actual list, and then we'll go from there. Okay, more in the coming videos. If you like uh, the video, click like, subscribe. Uh, see you next week.